none of this was what you said to do. What I was trying to see if I could go back and become a prosecutor on that against that case or against the lawyer, because in the long run, I found out that. Well, also what you said, just to apologize, to apologize for what I did, and hey, I, I want to figure out what to do, I, just, I would so like you, to... So you believe, so you believe you picked up some Chinese documents that you have no idea <laughs> You have no, uh, no clue whatsoever what those, those letters and words and numbers symbolize. You believe that you were able to pick up these Chinese forms, these legally Chinese, Vietnamese, Cantonese forms, and you thought you could make hide the tail out of it, is that what you try to say? And it's not uh, yeah, at the time I did. And, and, it's not, and it's not working the way you hoped it would work? The Chinese trick ain't working? It, no, it didn't work. They turned around and took my house. Well, there you go. It, it, so it worked in a negative way. Well, it didn't work at all. Well, it did work. It worked in a negative way. It, it, there's always a negative and a positive. It did work, and, but it just didn't work the way you wanted it to. Well, it's it's not, it's no, it had an effect. It always had an effect, all right. <laughs> you want it? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's always a balance, man. That's the way you gotta always look at things. The yin and yang thing, man. It's always a, it's always gonna be a middle ground somewhere. Oh, it worked all right. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're luckier, right? Yeah, it's called good luck and bad luck. Oh, you're not yeah. luck, all right. You just had the wrong kind. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you found out all these crazy forms. That's why I kind of laugh at people when they always say, oh, you know what? You restructure your mortgage, you restructure your debt with these government forms. And say, well, then you validate the debt because they can't actually find the original note. Since they can't find the original note, you guys go around out there and you create a new note. You create a new IO, IOU. Well, note. see, I'm, I'm the guy that actually had, I signed two notes and two mortgages. I don't know if you remember that. I gave them all to the broker, and the broker turned around and sifted back through them, and he was shaking and saying, oh, you, 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 you didn't need to sign this one. And he handed it back to me. Yeah. And then when I actually went to court, because I couldn't get city mortgages to show that they actually had the note, uh -huh. I went ahead and filed the county recorder that I owned, that I owned the original note because it couldn't be found. Right. Yep, if you had one. If you got one and they ain't got one, th there's no debt. Well, see, that's the thing. They brought it up. They brought it in the day before I went to court. They actually had the original note and the original mortgage. And it was, and, it was, and somebody was there to validate uh, and certify and verify that they witnessed you sign it that day? Uh, no, I wasn't. I hadn't met or heard of you yet. She hadn't really gotten uh, real popular uh, yet, but, uh, but they had. They are had you a saying, I'm, saying, I'm, are you saying I'm? Are you saying I'm a popular guy? <laughs> <laughs> no, you are. <laughs> I didn't know. When you first came out, everybody's like, "Oh, really? Is it really that simple?" Yeah, this guy's just happened crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I've done kind of the same thing in other cases where really, where is, where, where's my name on that paperwork, and I'll, I'll go ahead and do it, but. The only thing that's funny because that's something that's simple. Even if somebody say somebody, let's just say for shits and giggles, just say for shits and giggles, they put the original contract forward, right, with the original wet ink blue signatures, right, with three hundred people about fight, right. You know, down yeah. the sweat that they saw you do it, right. How do you beat that? How do you beat that? Well, I've heard this one before, but you say, well, when they say, "Is this your signature?" You say, "I don't know. Is that your paper?" Well, what I'm saying is, say that 300 people, 300 non priests, the Pope comes down, Jesus comes off the cross, and they all swear they saw you signing on that day, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay? How do you beat that? Oh, come on. you got to know. Uh, just like the sheriff, say I deny it. <laughs> How do you beat that? It's simple. Think about it. If you signed something 20, 30 years ago, right, and all of a sudden it reappears, right, and everybody says, swears that that's, that's it, right? Is everybody yeah. telling the truth? Is so everybody telling the truth? Anything? You, you know, the three hundred, even Jesus, and Moses, everybody comes, Joseph, Mary, everybody comes and swears that they saw you trying that piece of paper. How do you beat that testimony? How do you beat it? I don't know. You got me confused. <laughs> You're part of chain of custody, right? Yeah. You heard of the Mark Harmon in the O.J. Simpson case, right? 
I didn't pay that much attention to it. I just thought on taking a how old channel it was, but how old are you? Uh, 45. Okay, maybe you had better things to do back then. Okay, you were still a little bit younger, but still, you should have been paying attention because it was, it was amazing. And I was so grateful that he uh, was found not guilty. Even though everybody in the jury said he was guilty of sin, they said the state did not prove his case. And that's exactly what I'm saying here. Even though this, even though they could put Jesus on the stand and everybody knows you signed that damn thing, the state can't prove the case. Why? No chain of custody. Just be, okay, where did, where did your document sit for the last 20, 30 years? Well, I, apparently it's been sitting in uh, the lawyer's office. Oh, and lawyers don't lie, and lawyers don't know how to copy and scan and, and, and robo-sign, and co lawyers don't know how to cheat and, and, and falsify documents, and lawyers could prove that uh, they're, they're honorable and they would never do anything dishonest. Well, the thing is, yeah, on the back, somebody, on the back of the document, it doesn't matter. It's called chain of custody. Chain of custody means that somebody has to have control of that piece of paper 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 with no breaks, no interruptions. And once he signs off on that thing, he turns it over to somebody else, and somebody else is liable for it 24 7, 365. Why do you think it costs a fortune to send something registered mail? You know the difference between registered and certified, right? Yeah. What's the difference? They hand deliver it. Hand deliver it. They handcuff it, chain it, put it in the lockbox, put it in the safe. Somebody can yeah. verify it, and somebody's held liable. Held liable every step of the way of that piece of paper. That's how you beat it. Chain of custody. Can you swear that maybe some aliens, uh, you know, like they did with the O.J. Simpson cases, like how do you know uh, uh, it wasn't some spaceman uh, uh, doing a uh, cattle mutilation in Montana and a laser beam just bounced off the ionosphere and it just happened to go into Brentwood, California and decapitate Nicole Simpson and that boy? Cut <laughs> <laughs> of. It, it, it's a, there's a probability. So that's what, that was, like I said, thank God for criminal cases because it's got to be 100% ironclad. So you know when it comes to civil, like what you would have to do, it'd be like a preponderance of evidence. It had to be 51% that that lawyer was telling the truth. Now, who knows if the lawyer's telling the truth or not? You see what I'm saying? Well, I, I just stood up in the court and said that guy's an interloper and he's not even supposed to be here yeah well like i said you could just say where's the chain of custody where did he get that document from how did he get possession of it where has it been for the last well, 20 years I, I asked the judge to ask him where that came from and he told me it came from the secretary of state's office okay so the only problem with it came from the secretary of state's office did you mean it came from bob's office who accessed the secretary of state because the secretary of state office doesn't produce anything it's just a sign on the side of the building i i was just like well why why do they have it i mean that doesn't make any sense see, see that's what i'm saying because it's see because you use stupid words like they them and there there's no such thing as a they you mean why does bob have it the secretary of state why does bob have it see until you stop 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 using that sloppy language and stop saying they them and there nobody's liable well i, I understand you, i understand, you, that. You, I understand that now Right, well, if you understand that, right, what I'm trying to say is, you, if you understood that now, what you'd say is, well, you know what I did back then? I said something extremely stupid. I said, why are they having it? Why I should have said to him, why does Bob or Betty, the Secretary of State, why do they have possession of it? And are they going to come forth in court and swear to that? You see what I'm saying? You guys are just getting sloppy with the language. You're using adjectives and you're using pronouns instead of using proper nouns. That's all it is. And they're running over you like a freight train. Well, I, I questioned the, the, I took my certified copy that said that they gave it to me. Yeah, right. And I certified, you know, what, you know what certified means, right? It means nothing. It just means that That's piece of paper existed on planet, all certified means is that piece of paper existed on planet Earth on that day. And it means that if maybe someday in the future, if called upon, somebody will come into open court and testify that that piece of paper did so exist on that day at that time. But until then, it's, it means nothing. A certification doesn't mean anything. Well,